Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today I'm going to give you a very requested recipe video. These are going to function as sort of inspirational references and you can alter them to your liking if that's your jam. And this is something I've been wanting to do for such a long time and I am going to make a part two and possibly turn this into like a monthly series something like that, where I am going to make dishes and recipes with things that would usually have been discarded or thrown away. Because globally we waste a lot of food. In the US alone there is wasted around 40% of all food produced and a lot of the food that we waste we don't even see in the grocery stores because the process of wasting food starts at the very beginning at the farmer. But there are still lots of things that we as individual consumers can do and one of them is using the whole vegetable, using all the things so that as little as possible ends up in the bin. And these three recipes are my sort of contribution to that and this is something I'm so excited about because all of these dishes turned out so delicious. <laughs> I'm just really excited to show you. Shall we? Shall we? Okay, let's go. Ever simply thrown away the green carrot tops? Well, there's no need for that. If you can get your hands on organic carrot tops, you can use the tops to make a delicious green pesto. This is how. Start by rinsing and sorting the tops. Make sure that they're clean from dirt and also take away any bad stocks that might be in the bundle. When your stocks are clean, dry them on a towel and fetch the rest of your ingredients. You can use whatever flavor combo you like. I like garlic, walnut, olive oil and nutritional yeast and of course salt and pepper to taste. Honestly, these were ingredients I already had in my pantry and since we're doing anti-food waste, this seemed quite appropriate. Press a good handful of tops into your food processor. Then add olive oil and blend for 20 to 30 seconds. Then add your walnuts little by little and then add your garlic. Give it a good blend once again. Then add about a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, aka nooch, aka crack, for some extra sass, and then blend until smooth. You can serve your pesto on bread, salad, pasta, or basically anything you want. I had mine on some oven roasted greens and it was amazing and nothing went to waste. Another often wasted but highly useful vegetable is the broccoli stem or stalk. It's truly amazing and super versatile. You can blend it into a soup or roast it in the oven, but today we are going to make it into a vegan cheese sauce. Start by cutting the stem into smaller pieces. Yeah, like that. Even the really tough parts of the bottom stalk, it's still super useful. Put it in a pot with water and diced onion to cover the broccoli completely, and then some. Then boil it all in salted water for five to seven minutes or until they're soft enough to smash with a fork. Meanwhile, go find your other ingredients you need, like pasta, nooch, lemon, nutmeg, oat milk, turmeric, garlic, and of course, salt and pepper to taste. When you have all your other ingredients, go get a blender. Transfer the boiled broccoli and onion, strained, and add the rest of the ingredients. Nutmeg, lemon juice, turmeric, nutritional yeast, and two to three deciliters of oat milk, or basically any other plant milk you can get your hands on. And season well with salt and pepper. Ooh, wine break. Now blend until the sauce is smooth. It might take some time. I had to go in with a spoon and stir to get all the small chunks incorporated into the sauce, but eventually I got there. Then I transferred my sauce into a jar so I can save it in my fridge. It stays fresh for a couple of days, but I would recommend eating it within four days of making it. It does freeze nicely though. Meanwhile, I boiled my pasta and while it was still hot in the pot, water strained, I added in the sauce to reheat it at the same time. After the sauce and pasta was nicely combined, it was ready to serve. And there you have it, anti-food waste cheesy broccoli sauce. Start by cutting the leaves and stem of the cauliflower. I'm saving this cauliflower for a curry dish later, so we're not actually going to be using it in this recipe, but you can if you want to. Rinse the leaves thoroughly and make sure that there's no dirt left. Then dry them off and cut them into smaller pieces. If the stem is super thick, then make sure to cut those bits extra small so they cook evenly. Place the stems in a pot with water and boil them for around 10 minutes or until the stem is soft. 
then let the leaves and stems cool down before moving on with the recipe. Meanwhile, prepare the rest of the ingredients. I added crushed garlic, ginger, some red onion, some soy sauce and some cabbage together in a food processor, the trusty, trusty food processor, with some salt, pepper and a little bit of water if you're finding that the filling is too firm or dry. Keep blending until you reach your desired consistency I like a few chunks in mine. Now you'll need a bowl with some water, a tray with some flour, your filling and the gyoza dough. I had some pre-made dough lying around in my freezer, which is why I decided to make gyozas in the first place, but you can of course make it from scratch. Dip your finger in water and run it across the edge, then add the filling and start closing up the edge. There are several techniques you can use. I tried my best with the crescent moon fold, but I obviously need a bit more practice. I've also left some links down below if you want to see how the actual pros are doing it perfectly. I think I became a little bit better at doing the folding, but I never really got to a perfect gyoza. I prefer my dumplings steamed, so I boiled some water and once it started bubbling slightly, I placed my second hand bamboo steamer inside the pot. I put the lid back on and I waited for around 3-5 to five minutes. Then I served my dumplings with some soy sauce, with spring onion and sesame seeds, and that was it. Delicious cauliflower leaf dumplings. Folding technique, still loading. But anti-food waste. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, leave me a comment down below and tell me which recipe you are going to be trying out or give me ideas for new recipes. I have been looking into th different things with um, like cores from apples and potato peels. I'm going to be doing stuff with those very soon. But if you have any really, really good recipes that you like that involves anti-food waste or generally things from vegetables or fruit that is normally discarded, leave them down below as well and inspire me and all the others in the comment section. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're going to have an amazing day. Take really good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!